What is up, guys? Welcome back to the Ryan LFC channel. I'm Toronto Sports Guy, and today we are going to be previewing the second match day of CONCACAF's octagonal final round of the World Cup qualifiers. But before we get into it, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and get those video activations up, get those comments up. Ryan, how are we doing today? I'm doing good, man. How are you doing today? I am doing pretty good. We had a little bit of a rough start to the World Cup qualifiers in Canada against Honduras, but it wasn't a loss. We got points, and I think we're ready to move on to the next round. I think we expect a lot from the Canadian team with some of the superstar coming back in the World Cup qualifier, but Canada needs to start to win their own game in the World Cup qualifier. If Canada want to qualify for the World Cup, they need to start to win at home. It's very important to win at home. So next home game, they need to start to pick up points. They're going to play against the United States. That's going to be a very, very difficult game. But let us see what's going to happen in the U.S. versus Canada game. Yeah, U.S. versus Canada. Two teams that both had disappointing starts to the World Cup qualifying campaigns. Canada drawing Honduras at home 1-1. Disappointing result for Canada. Played much better than played much better than the result that they got. And then the US on the road in El Salvador, another draw there. The US expecting a win against El Salvador. Uh, El Salvador team that to me at least in CONCACAF is right now probably not in really the fight for the World Cup qualifiers and for the U.S. to draw them. That's two dropped points. So both of these teams coming to this game, having looking at their first games as they dropped two points rather than picked up one. And so both of them are going to be looking to make a statement in their second match. The U.S. at home against Canada, for them, that is a must-win game. If they don't get a win, all of a sudden Canada is pushing them for the second-place spot in the octagonal. And for Canada, this is a prime opportunity for us to show that we are in this and have a solid chance of qualifying for the World Cup. I think for Canada, a draw in this match would be huge. For the US, anything less than a win would be disastrous. I think both of them came off a very, very tight opening games and both of them really now with something to prove are going to be playing very well i think the u.s the fact that they weren't able to score against el salvador leaves a question mark as to where their offense is at right now so i think my prediction for this game is a little controversial but i actually do think it's going to be a one-one draw well when you look at the canada team and when you look at the united states team both team, when you look at them team, they do not have a lot of experience in the World Cup qualifier. Canada, this is a new team. United States is a new team. So it's interesting to see who going to win this one. I think it's going to be really tough away from home for the Canadian national team. But Canada, what they showed in the last World Cup and against Andros in the first game, Canada is very weak away from home when it comes on to South American side against Panama, against Andres. Canada need to work on them away from. I expect this game to be a very close game. United States will have full strength. Canada will have at full strength. I think I'm going with a draw. I am going with a 2-2 two -two draw. It's going to be goal in this game. It's going to be fun. It's going to be rival game and i'm expecting to see goals in this one i'm going with that two, two, two. yeah that's uh that would be incredible if we get a 2-2 two, two draw with this one that would be such an exciting match if that's what we end up having do you want to move on to el salvador honduras so el salvador honduras two teams again getting surprise draws in the first round. This is the complete opposite of the USA-Canada match. I think El Salvador at home 
is going to have a slight edge, but they're going up against a team in Honduras, like also a Central American team, also a team that's used to playing in CONCACAF type matches. I think going up against a Honduras home field advantage isn't as big of a difference for El Salvador as it is against, say, a Canada or a USA teams that aren't used to playing in CONCACAF situations. I think if the first match day of CONCACAF showed us anything, it's that draws may be par for the course for this octagonal. And I think, again, with this one, two teams who are coming off of fantastic draws, I think we're going to again see a 1-1 draw as these two teams both punched a bit up their, above their weight in the first leg and now in the second game are both going to be pushing for points. And I think neither of them are going to be willing to drop points in this match. El Salvador at home play against a very good United States team. And to see El Salvador playing very well coming into this World Cup qualifier and the Gold Cup, that has to give them a lot of credit. They will make it difficult for this Andorra team, which will be at home for El Salvador. They need to start to pick up three points if they want to have a great chance to go to the World Cup. And I see this one, it's going to be tough, but I'm going with a 2-1 victory for Andorra. Andy Ross. Andy Ross, they has been playing some good football in the Gold Cup and to get a point against Canada in the first game. This is a second away game, away from home. So it's going to be good. It's going to be tough for them. And I'm going with a 2-1 win for Andy Ross. That's going to be a very close match. Mexico, Costa Rica, I'm feeling it's going to be Costa Rica at home, although Mexico, they beat Jamaica. However, they beat a Jamaican team that was not at full strength due to a lot of Jamaican players having issues getting into Mexico. However, going into Costa Rica, Mexico is a team that they're not phased by playing in CONCACAF conditions. They are the kings of playing in CONCACAF conditions. I think that well, Costa Rica are a solid squad. I don't think they have the talent to compete against Mexico. I'm seeing a 3-1 victory for Mexico here. Well, after that performance against the Reggae Boys, the Reggae Boys played the, United, um, the Mexican very well. With a win in their first game, cheaper and stop the table, I think they're going to make it really difficult for this Costa Rica team, man. For me, Costa Rica draw against Panama, that was a difficult game for them. But I just see the Mexican get the better of Costa Rica. I just see the Mexican going to be strong for them. I'm going with a 2 0 victory for the Mexican. Yeah, tight, tight in all of these. But I think if any game is going to be an easy victory, it's going to be Mexico, Costa Rica. And this match is probably the most easy to predict match of this match day and finally we have the big one for you jamaica versus panama jamaica at home this is a jamaican team that is now finally going to be at full strength and a non-full strength jamaican team pushed mexico to a tight 2-1 loss they got a goal against mexico away without their top players and now they're going against a panama team that was good enough to get a draw at home to Costa Rica, but now going away to Jamaica to a full strength Jamaican squad, to a Jamaican squad that's more rested because their top players didn't play against Mexico. I can't see Panama getting anything out of this match. This is a game that Jamaica, if they are truly contending to qualify for the World Cup, it's a must win. And I think they are going to win it. I'm going with a two nothing Jamaican victory. Well, this Panama team is a very good team, and I'm not going to take them lightly. I don't think Jamaica should take them lightly. Whenever Jamaica play against a team like Panama, they move the ball very quick. They like to play the ball in spaces. Jamaica always has difficult to cope with team or players for quick tempo and pass the ball quickly. Jamaica, they yet to beat Panama. They yet to beat Panama in our World Cup qualified game. Panama is Jamaican buggy team. 2014, they draw 1-1 at the National Stadium in Kingston, Jamaica. I think Panama will make it really, really difficult for this Jamaican team. But the quality 
that Jamaica possessed at this moment. Mikel Antonio, Kemar Roof, Ravel Morrison, Leon Moore. All of these players will make it difficult for this Panama team in Kingston, Jamaica. It's going to be a very close one, and I'm expecting nothing less than three points for Jamaica. If Jamaica wants to go to the World Cup, Jamaica must win every single home game. Jamaica is a team that don't travel well in CONCACAF. So, beating Panama back on track, Coach Whitmore and a lot of pressure, we need to do the right stuff and make the Jamaican fan base proud and make the Jamaican national team proud. We must pick up three points. And I'm going with a 3 1 victory for Jamaica. They will have a lot of firepower for this Panama team. And I think Panama, a little bit away from home, they're not going to be the Panama we know. But playing Panama in Panama, it's going to be difficult for Jamaica to get a result there. This is why I must keep Panama at home, and I'm going with a 3 1. And yeah, over to you. Yeah, I think this is definitely a crucial match for Jamaica. It's a must-win match for Jamaica if they want to qualify for the World Cup, and this is a must-watch game for anyone who's closely following the CONCACAF qualifiers. Even if you're not a fan of Jamaica or Panama, just to, if you're in a team that's really fighting for a World Cup spot, you got to watch this game just to see because it has huge repercussions to everyone else in the octagonal final round. But overall, this is a very important, important round of qualifying. I guess if only 14 games, every round is very important. But this match day, USA, Canada, Jamaica, Panama are two crucially important matches, both of them. You realize that no team smashing up team in Kankakov, Dali has been a one goal margin if you win. If you win, it always been 2 1, 1 nil. You rarely see a team get 4 and 5 in World Cup qualify in Kankakov. A lot of people underestimate Kankakov. It's not easy to play in Kankakov. You have a lot of physical team, you have a lot of good team. And team just a die and situation to qualify for the World Cup. And uh, this is why we always have close there. Yeah, that's the thing. Is in CONCACAF, people always see the first two rounds and they see the big, huge victories against lower ranked teams like Suriname and like um, like the Virgin Islands. And like teams like Canada always beat them up. And people say, oh, CONCACAF is easy. And then you get into the final round and it's a, it's a war for those spots. All the teams in the final round are very good and they're all very good specifically at playing in CONCACAF. It leads to just... Honestly, the hexagonal or now the octagonal is one of the greatest competitions in football. And this is just the first match day already was so good. Second match day is just going to keep getting better from here. And this is going to be, honestly, an incredible must-watch World Cup qualifying window. Most definitely, man. I'm really looking forward to see the games them tomorrow. And I hope we get goals and we get excited. I want it to be demanded and the player wanted to be tough. I want the game them to be close. I don't want to see any team run away. It would be good for see Costa Rica try to upset Mexico. You know you can keep that balance. So the field is very tight. That's that's the, the back of war. We don't want no one United States run away winning and Mexico run away with it. We don't want that. We want a close World Cup qualifier. So every single team have a great chance. So when you reach match week ten it's very close, you know what I mean? And I think it's going to go right down the wire. And the US, very good team. Don't underestimate them. They're traveling well away from home. Panama, they will make it difficult when they go to Panama. United States, Mexico, El Salvador, when they play in El Salvador, every team will make it difficult. You go to Kingston, Jamaica, they will make it difficult for you. Mikel Antonio, Leon Bailey, Ravel Morrison, Bobby Reed. They have some fantastic play, and I'm looking forward to see Kanka Cup getting better and better. What do you have to say before you close up? Over to you. Yeah, I think we know in the CONCACAF octagonal, anyone can win. So it's going to be an absolutely fantastic one. I want to say thanks, everyone, for watching. If you want to see 
more in-depth coverage of the Canada's World Cup qualifying journey, subscribe to my channel. It's Toronto Sports Guy and follow me on Twitter, uh, twitter.com slash Stavros underscore Greer. I'll put the link to my uh, channel. I'll send it to Ryan and he'll put it down in the description. And thank you all for watching. Appreciate it, man.